Hello YouTube, uh, this is actually a PlayStation Vita wheel I actually created a couple weeks ago and I just completed the uh, actual icon art so I figured it's uh, ready for prime time so I'm gonna add this in the description uh, this only contains the art, XML, modules, uh, so if you want to use it in the hyperspin, uh, you guys are welcome to. It's a pretty big download, I think it's like uh, 50 gigs or something like that. And it's on my uh, Google uh, account, so it's probably going to be super fast and it might actually time out in the beginning if too many people are downloading it, but it's available if you guys want to give it a try. Anyway, uh, this is the actual theme, I think I grabbed this on... Uh, I want to say uh, hyperspin forum. Anyway, uh, this is inside the actual wheel once we actually get into the games. So every game has a trailer. It's all, uh, I think it's uh, the official trailer for most of these games. The icons basically we extracted them uh, from a bunch of websites and stuff. But uh, yeah, here it is. If you want to take a quick look how everything looks. So only the same marquee for every game. Uh, I just created that main wheel, uh, main wheel default marquee. Take way too much time. I think there's like 840 games, um, or the art anyway. So of course, uh, when you download this, no games is included. You just basically get the art. That's it. I'm not gonna go through the whole wheel because that would uh, take a while. <laughs> But uh, one thing I'll do, I'll probably start a game so you can see how it actually looks under uh, Vita 3K, which is uh, pretty impressive. They're, uh, I think they're like at 400 games uh, fully playable now. Like not even a year ago, uh, you could barely play anything. So uh, yeah, definitely uh, pretty impressive. Anyway, just scrolling down through a few so you can actually get a look at how everything looks. Okay, so let's uh, let's load one. I'll load one of my favorites, Dragon Crown. Just pass it. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay. Start this bad boy. See how everything looks. And of course, always happens when you're actually trying to run something. So, we're actually gonna uh, reboot the system. Yay! That's fun. So, let's do a quick reboot. Get this uh, running. So, yeah, I'm basically just running uh, these uh, uploads uh, and videos uh, straight from my phone, no editing or anything, just because it uh, takes quite a time, quite a long time, and uh, yeah, I don't have that time right now. So let's wait for this to load. Always fun times. Well, that's the thing, when you don't expect or we're actually wanting to actually try something, um, there's always something that's gonna have happen. So I think there's an issue with a uh, hyperspin when you run uh, too many things. After a while, it just locks. Uh, probably some software on the back end or some uh, some service or something that locks so I'm probably gonna have to take a look and see what's going on but in the meantime uh, well we'll just reboot the computer and uh, get the get this going for you guys okay I should start loading in a few seconds just uh, fast forward this bit like uh, one minute or two of uh, lost time. OK. 
and it should be getting into uh, the dust stuff in a few seconds. For some reason, it's the actual uh, secondary screen that basically just uh, has the main menu. I think it's because it's running uh, uh, probably through the first port. Anyway, I would have to actually take a take a look. Okay. Okay, let's reload hyperspin. Okay, PlayStation Vita again. Should you remember the last place we were? Dragon Crown. Let's try it. Let's see how this works out. Okay. Took some time probably because the computer was still busy. Loading complete. That's the batch file that basically calls the game. Takes a couple seconds. And there we go. Took some time, but uh, got into it. So you definitely want to use uh, one of the PlayStation controllers uh, if you want to play this. Let's take a look here. Let's enable this. Take a second to sync up. So you don't have to actually have your uh, controller open before the game. The game will just recognize it. It's really fast. It's uh, very, very impressive how how well they actually made this. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with uh, anyone. Doesn't really matter. Let's go with this guy. Just gonna grab this. Well then, you seated yourselves. Okay, let's get a few things and uh, we should be uh, in game. Not sure the tutorial and all that stuff, but uh, yeah, there we have it. Fully working and pretty, very, very impressive the speed you actually get out of this. Now let's take a quick look and uh, see what the TV thing is displaying at. Just for quick, uh, quick uh, so. Okay, so this is actually running full speed from what I can see, 120. Probably not doing that on the RD emulator. I'm not exactly sure uh, how the TV is actually getting that information, but we have to actually verify with a frame counter. But in any case, uh, there you have it, folks. Full Vita emulator, full wheel, and uh, yeah, all set and ready. And yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoy, and don't forget to check the description. Uh, you'll have the uh, actual information and the download available for all the art and the XML wheel. Anyway, have a good one. See you later.